Coach, just talk about the spring. You know, it's been a while since teams have been able to have spring football games. Overall thoughts on your team and how you were able to accomplish some things. Well, you mentioned the spring game. That was big for us in the sense that we could have one. You know, without a spring game, you and seeing our team against another opponent that, um, you know, I, I think it's a big asset to have it. We were excited about that opportunity. Then, of course, to play against a team like West Monroe in that program, uh, you, you're going to get a good test and evaluation. And, um, and I thought we did that from a – Overall standpoint, the spring was a positive uh, for us. Uh, we got to look at a lot of kids. We got a lot of kids out for spring training. Um, we had a you know a good work, uh, really two weeks of work there in that scrimmage, but a good evaluation period for us. Had a lot of young kids we were able to look at, and uh, and of course the quarterback situation was a big question for our team. Uh, senior Andre Fuller uh, kind of stepped out of the pack, took most of the snaps with the ones, and did a good job. Um, we had JT Jackson and Chance Clowers, two juniors, were taking snaps as well. And uh, I thought they all responded well, uh, and I think it will continue to be a good competition throughout the summer. But uh, right now, Andre had the, had the edge coming out of spring practice. But um, from a defensive standpoint, we're real excited about a, our, our front uh, possibilities. We've got a lot of size up there that we haven't had in the past. Uh, and got a little depth there. It's probably, probably the only place on our team we've got much depth, but um, but that's a good place to have it. Um, you mentioned Lawrence Jones. Um, you know Lawrence had a good spring for us. Um, continues to need improvement in all areas of his game, like any player. Um, I thought in the spring game that he had a good game, but there were some things that um, you know that were exposed uh, about him that he needs to do better. One of which is tackling. Um, and he'll work on that. He'll improve that and, and be a much better tackler, I hope, in the fall. But um, he'll be a big asset to our team. We did not play him on offense in the spring at all, um, except for at practice a little bit, but uh, not in the spring game at all. Um, but he will get some offensive snaps as well as, uh, you know, probably we'll probably keep him at corner in our defensive scheme. He's just such a big asset to us there. You mentioned Hootie. Just talk about how much – you will have to rely on him offensively heading in, you know, when you start heading into the season. How much of a burden will he have to take on because he is just an overall gifted football player to help you offensively? Well, I don't think it's a situation where we, we have to have him uh, ever snap by any means. We're, we're capable at the tailback position. We're capable at the wideout position, which are two places he would possibly play. Uh, you know, he, you may see him in a, uh, even taking a snap at quarterback before the year's over with. But uh, he's potentially, uh, uh, you know, certainly a big playmaker on any, either side of the ball. But not, certainly not, we're not in a situation where we have to use him on, on offense and on defense every snap. So uh, he'll play occasionally on offense and then, of course, be a full-time starter on the defensive side. But, you know, hopefully he'll stay healthy and, and go through the year, uh, you know, and have a great senior year here at Neville High School. And, of course, his futures uh, can be extremely bright if he continues to do the right things. You go up against a West Monroe team in the spring game, obviously one of the first things you're going to say is the physicality. They're going to try to punish you and they're going to try to hurt you. Is that what you were talking about when you said he has to kind of improve on his tackling because you went up against a team – like West Monroe, that's not going to throw the ball 30 times. They're going to want to pound you. Is that why well, you, you said that? Well, I think just from a, uh, from a technique tackling standpoint, I think that, uh, you know, they threw the ball enough times the other night to test your secondary out. Uh, they, they look good throwing the football, in fact. And, um, but I think just from a technique standpoint, I think he missed a couple of tackles, uh, you know, during the scrimmage that, uh, that he can make, and uh, we need him to make. And, uh, every player has areas of improvement. You know, you talk about a high school football player, he's far from the player that he's going to be in, in years to come. And it's our job to take him as far as we can here over the next, you know, six months of his football career in high school. And then wherever he decides to attend school, they'll, of course, build on that. But um, So he's just a player, you know, that's being heavily recruited. He's a good high school football player, going to be, a uh, you know, a great uh, player, I, I do believe. Uh, but at the same time, he's got to realize, like every player, he's got to work at it. And uh, you can't sit back and just pound your chest that you're, you know, you look the part, you got to play the part. How do you approach the recruiting situation with him and having it be either negative or positive in terms of the impact of the entire team? Because about this time last year, we were getting close to John made his decision and it was over and let's go win a state championship. So while there's still different players, how do you approach it where would you like for him, like in an ideal world, to get it over this summer and so he can enjoy the senior year and the whole team can enjoy the senior year? I think there's, um, you know, 
pros and cons to, to that. Uh, as you mentioned, John D'Ars last year made a decision fairly early and, and was able to get it done. I think from, from his standpoint, from a personal standpoint for him, um, I think an early decision is good for those, for those players that are being heavily recruited. Um, the phone calls minimize. They don't stop, but they minimize themselves uh, if, he, if he does make a decision. And, and I think that can help him mentally. Uh, as far as us here at Neville, <clears throat> we're going to approach our season, you know, the same way regardless. I'm, I've tried to uh, mentor him along with our other coaches here on staff, uh, you know, to enjoy this process because it is a one-time uh, thing. Uh, try to see everything you can see in terms of uh, those schools you have true interest in and they have interest in you. Um, you know, try to evaluate them as best you can. Look at it from every possible angle. Uh, from football to school, you know, what, what are they offering you in terms of your, uh, you know, your, your path in school, uh, whatever degree you're going to pursue and so forth. But from a football standpoint, the schools that are offering him, they're all quality schools, they're great programs. He can hardly make a bad choice. As far as making the choice and affecting his season and our team, uh, you know, that, that kind of remains to be seen. I think that's handled by an individual basis. Uh, I think he can keep his head clear enough to still be an outstanding player for us, and then at the same time take that recruiting process for what it is, enjoy it. Uh, and then when the time comes, as I've told him, when he does make his decision, one thing for, for me, uh, I would just like to him to make a solid decision whenever it's made. I don't, you know, I don't tell him where to go and so forth. I just try to educate him on the process. And when he does make the decision, I like for him to stick with it. Last question. Academically, from where he stands, are things on pace for him to, is it graduate early, or do you see any problems? Like, just kind of give me the, the lowdown academically where he stands. Yeah, academically, um, Lawrence is on pace uh, to graduate early. Uh, it's the decision he made. And I think John doing that last year, I think, really kind of uh, opened his eyes to those possibilities for him. Uh, so he went uh, on a path to uh, pursue graduating early. Uh, academically, he's a good student. Uh, and he'll have to take a course this summer uh, out here at the uh, community college to get that done. But I think he's already registered for the class. And uh, you know, as long as he handles his business in there, then that will get him in line uh, to go through the fall semester and then complete his high school credits uh, you know, after the, after the fall semester and be ready to move on to a college campus uh, in January, which is a tremendous asset to a football player that's pursuing uh, college football.